Now, the bread and butter, really, of uh, A-level maths is, and the main basis, is being able to rearrange algebra or work with algebra confidently. Without this, um, you will struggle. And really, it, by September, you need to be good at uh, rearranging formulae. Uh, to get the subject of an equation. Um, you need to be able to solve linear equations like this. Um, so I'm going to go through some of these questions and make sure that we are happy with all of these ideas and what really you can do. A lot of students um, in the first few weeks of A-level maths are unsure of themselves algebraically because they half remember a method um, and usually it's a case that they are right and they should just go with their gut. But in other cases, uh, they have misinterpreted what they are allowed to do and what makes sense. So this first one, uh, 2 plus 3x equals 7, okay, is quite a basic uh, equation. I'm starting it off with this one just so that you are making sure that you know all the concepts. So we have 2 plus something equals th 7, so the something must be 5. So, in, or in other words, you can take 2 from both sides, like this, take 2 from both sides of the equation, and then divide both sides by 3. I was about to say 5 then, pull myself back. So you can write it as 5 over 3. This is another key feature that... Um, a lot of students will want to write it as uh, 1.6 recurring, or heaven forbid 1.7, okay, they've rounded it, um, and, and not said to one decimal place. Really, um, by the time you get to A-level maths, a lot of it is going to be fractions. We want to be able to write things in exact form, and this is what we call exact form. Okay, we don't. We want to shy away from using decimals as much as we can. So any uh, people who are not uh, fractions fans, uh, well, you need to become fans of fractions pretty quickly. Okay, and a lot of this will be to do with fractions. So that's the first one. Uh, second one, we've got an unknown on both sides of the equation. Okay, so the idea really here is just to move the x's first, get the x's all onto one side of the equation, all the other numbers onto the right-hand side. So we're going to add 2x to both sides. We get 8x plus 7, and we now just have 5 on the right. Take 7 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 8. So you could write that as minus 2 over 8, if you like. But obviously that is a fraction that can be simplified. Divide top and bottom by 2, we get minus 1 quarter. If a fraction can be simplified, really you should be able to simplify it. And you should do that. Okay, so that's the second one. Right, the third one involves some brackets. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. If you've seen the previous video, uh, if I could write the question down right, 3x minus 2 equals 20 minus 3 lots of x plus 2. So multiplying out brackets, we have 2 lots of 3x and 2 lots of minus 2. So 2 lots of 3x is 6x. 2 lots of minus 2 is minus 4. We've got that 20 still there. Then we've got minus 3 times x and minus 3 times 2. So we've got minus 3x. And minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. So let's just simplify the right-hand side there. We get 20 take away 6 is 14, take away 3x. Um, I'm going to add 3x to both sides. Then I can add 4 to both sides. And then I can divide through by 9. So, really, if you write your answer as just 18 over 9, you should be able to simplify that down. Well, that's 2, okay? If you write it as 18 over 9, um, I, I would, if I saw that in your working, I would probably be asking, well, why haven't we simplified it further, okay? Or not spotted that 9 goes into 18 twice. Okay, so little things like this you just need to get confident with and spot and be happy with writing it down. 
It's really all about building up your confidence. Right, number four. Uh, y minus 4 over 2 equals y over 3 plus 1. So really when a student sees a question like this, um, even when I get to a first year of A-levels done, people are still worried about solving an equation like this, which is a little worrying for me, to be honest. But in the end, it's not too bad if you just take time to learn how it works. So in order to get rid of this over 2 that's on the left-hand side, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So what happens is that that just becomes y minus 4, and then I'm going to get two lots of y over 3 plus 2, because I've got to multiply everything by 2. Now I've got this 2y over 3 here, so in order to get rid of the over 3, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So I get three lots of y, take away three lots of 4. The 2y over 3 just becomes 2y, and 3 times 2 is 6. And it's very easy in that process to miss a number out when you're multiplying through. So be careful with it. Now I'm going to take 2y from both sides and then add 12 to both sides. So the answer is 18. Okay? So in this step here, to get here, I first multiply through by 2, then I multiply by 3. You could... Um, do that in one step and multiply everything by 6 because that's the same as multiplying by 2 and then by 3. Okay, So you could just multiply through by 6 and you should get to the same answer. Okay, So that's linear equations and what I would hope you would be able to work with. Um, we're next going to move on to simultaneous equations.